this is Lola Lee T. Hi everyone. Nicki Minaj has gotten herself into some trouble. This is the major tweet. If I get bead, it won't be for the Met. It'll be once I feel I've done enough research. I'm working on that now. So yesterday was the Met Gala event. It's a high fashion thing. So I guess the requirement of the Met was for everyone to be fully bead and also they had to wear a mask. So because of the new rules, there have been rumors circulating about which A-listers are not bead and, and possibly that is why they didn't attend the Met. And we all know Nikki's outfits are always showstoppers and she was obviously missed. Some fans on Twitter came right out and asked Nikki why she wasn't at the Met Gala. And she made the mistake of tweeting, if I get feed, it won't be for the Met. It'll be once I feel I've done enough research. I'm working on that now. In the meantime, my loves, be safe. She then volunteered why she didn't attend the VMAs. Check out this tweet. Some fans did step up to do some education, but Nikki then alleged that Drake caught the infection even though he was veed. She then went on to tweet about her cousin and shared what happened to him. So to summarize, and this is coming from a person that has a child as well, and this is just my opinion, I really feel that Nikki was misunderstood. I think that all she was trying to say was why she didn't attend the VMAs and the Met Gala event. She has a young baby and she didn't want to catch the C and then bring it home to her baby. Summarizing, she is afraid to catch the C. She seems to not be quite ready to take the V yet, but needs to do more research before she does so. So she's not an anti veer She didn't tell anybody to not take the V. She never said she refuses to take the V she is a mother that could possibly want to have another child. And she is worried about possible side effects. There could be a whole host of things that are going on here. Anyway, this situation has gotten out of control. There was even a news lady Joy something, I think her name is Joy Reed. I can't remember her name. Well, she twisted everything that Nikki said and there was some back and forth between Nikki and this lady. Anyway, as you can see, I captured some of Nikki's tweets here, but I didn't screen capture every single one of them. And she has left those tweets up and I hope that she does leave those tweets up and not delete them. This situation is a mess, but I do think that there is a positive in the situation because Nikki brought up something that a lot of people are feeling right now, especially moms, mothers, young mothers. There's a lot of people out there that are feeling exactly what she's feeling, but they don't have the platform to express themselves. So maybe this will have a positive outcome. 
I hope there is more education regarding the situation that's going on in the world right now. And I hope there's more dialogue on people losing their jobs because they refuse to do this certain thing. As I said, the situation is a mess. And as you noticed, there were certain words that I couldn't use, like the C word and the V word. So when you leave comments, please do not mention those words in my comment section. YouTube doesn't like those words being mentioned. And going back to Nikki for a minute, I do not think that Nikki is the type that can be silenced. So I don't think that this is the end to all of this. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys.